You gon' bust for the team, or what? Let my ass bitch on scene, for what? You gon' drop it to your knees, or what? Make it clap, make it Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, my name's Danielle Anissa. I would love for you to subscribe, like this video, and turn on your bell notification to be notified every time I post a new video. So it means so much to me. Yes, yeah, so for today's video is me trying out products I bought at the drugstore. So I'm excited. I want to show you what's, what are the things I bought, and I'm pretty excited because I got some good goodies, you know? So I just clean my hands with, um... Sanitize it because I like to clean my hand before I touch my face. So, do whatever step you need to do before you put moisturizer or if you just put moisturizer. I'm going to put my Dollar Tree serums. If you haven't seen any of my videos, Dollar Tree videos, you can go watch my playlist of Dollar Tree videos because I mentioned my serums in there. So, I'm just going to massage this in my face. And the makeup products I bought are most likely from Walmart and Ulta. And I was pretty bummed because I really wanted to get the ColourPop Pretty Fresh new foundation, but they didn't have my shade and I'm pretty bummed. So I'm trying to see if I can get it this coming week and I can do a review on it because I heard it's really good and I want to try their Smiths. But that's out too and I don't want to order because that's going to take longer so I might as well just wait for the store. My um, CeraVe Ultralight Moisturizing Lotion with SPF 30. This is really bomb. I'm going to use my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Bomb. Everybody needs to get their hands on this. Under the eyes if you want. All up in the nose. Okay. You look good. So, this Morphe um, eyebrow pencil brush. I can't even talk. But yes, I have this and I got in the shape Mocha. It's just like Anastasia. It's five bucks. It's way better and it's a dupe and it's more creamier and better for your bank. So I'm going to do my eyebrows real quick and I'll see you right after I'm done with my eyebrows. Conceal them with my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer and I'm in the shade Medium Peach. Oh, and... <clears throat> For the eyebrow product, I use Mocha, but I'm really the shade Java, so I kind of mix it in with my Anastasia just a little bit because it was kind of giving me like an orange tint. So, gotta have coffee, period. So, I'm gonna scoot up, guys. So we're gonna do eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use this pillowy base. This is really good, guys. I use the shade Rumor 02 because it's pretty light, and you want to use a light um, base because if you're working with color or any any um, shadow, you want it to stand out and pop out. You want to use something light, and I'm gonna blend it out. And yeah, everybody needs this in their life right now. And this is the Elf Flawless Concealer Brush. Oh my god, this is so good. You just gotta and then just blend. And you want to make it far out because the look we're doing, I might kind of take it out. Very seamless. But for today, guys, let me put you on. Let me all put y'all on these Profusion Cosmetic Eyeshadow Palette. Let me tell you, these are bomb. They're at Walmart. They're sold at Walmart. These are only $5. This is the Spectrum Palette. Sorry for the glare, but that's what it looks like. Spectrum. And this is the Neon Palette. They're super pigmented. The only thing is they're a little dusty, but you know, it's okay. You want to always start with eyeshadow before you do your base. So that's how I do it. Because you don't have to worry about any fallout when you have your base on. But let me tell you guys. These are fun. Like, oh my god. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you guys. So for the look I'm going to do first. I'm going to use two. I'm going to try to use two palettes so I can like give you all the taste of what each colors look like. So for the neon palette, I'm going to start off with Sunny. This very beautiful yellow. Mine has a lot of color on it. Okay, I'm going to use this Morphe one M5. Wait, M456. Oh, you can't see. Oh, you can see her a little bit right there. Hey, hey boo. Okay. We're going to go in, like I said, Sunny's. Go to this beautiful freaking sunny look. And you just want to pack it on your brush. And you want to go in the outer corner and start packing. Smiley! She's trying to leave. And girl, you just got in. And I just sat down. Now I'm too lazy to open up the door. Okay. You see how bright that is? Oh my god. For five bucks, guys. It is OMG lashes. I saw a look and I did a look. I'm about to do a similar look with different colors. And I'll give you a little picture. I'll show on the screen what I... Um, 
I recreated a look from her and I posted on my Instagram. So, and y'all need this in y'all's lives. This is a makeup brush, um, cleaning brush to clean out your shadows. Really bomb. I always had this, and you can also exchange out the sponge or flip it however you like. It's a dollar. Because I, I saw one at Sephora, and I think that I thing was like 20 bucks, and you can get that for a dollar. Mm -mm. A lime green. Beautiful. So, I'm gonna use the same brush and I cleaned it. So, I'm gonna pack it on my brush and put it right in the middle. You always want to keep packing. You don't want to like um blend. You just want to pack, make the colors more vibrant. But like I feel bad because I used to do an eyeshadow. I used to do look way in the beginning when I used to do um my YouTube channel. I did like a few makeup looks and then I stopped. And like I was at a time I wasn't really looking at palettes. You know I wasn't really feeling because I already had all these colors. And once I saw this and then I just started watching like more makeup videos. I just got like wow I should really start doing my looks. And with cheap palettes like this I can help y'all guys however you like. Okay this I needs more green. Okay. I'm gonna go back in with the yellow so I can brighten up a little bit more. There's these blues. That's like a seafoam green. That's like a baby blue. And then there's dark blue. And then there's this foam green. And then there's this baby blue. But like for this look, I don't know blue to you. I think I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna just stick with the neon palette, guys. Seriously? Ding. That's how you say it. It's this blue right by the pink. It look alike, but this one's a little bit more light blue and this one's more green and i'm gonna pack it you want to kind of like kind of wing it out it doesn't really matter it doesn't have to be pretty or perfect um they look very vibrant. We're gonna do some liners. So this is my go-to liner. This is a Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black. So I'm gonna do. I lined my eyeliner, but I'm gonna clean it up a little bit because it kind of leaked a little bit. That's okay. So I'm gonna get like some concealer. I just clean both both sides up. So for foundation, I'm gonna try out this Catrice. HD liquid coverage up to it lasts up to um 24 hours. I'm sorry, and it's mattifying, waterproof, sweatproof, and second skin finish. This is really good for like summer. Oh, this is gonna look light, guys. Um, trust me, it's not light. The lighting right now, my I believe my ring light's messing up. So I'm just gonna put this all over my face and it'll blend out perfectly. Cause when you do like bronzer and everything and powder, or five nine nine now Ulta. The regular 1099, but I got it on sale. And I had to crop too. So, this is showing y'all. This is really good. I'm trying to get it so clean. And you always want to blend down your neck. This is one cover, as you can tell. You see my texture, but it kind of gives a good amount of coverage. Another layer. Oh, I'm sorry if you hear like wind and rain. And it's a little runny. I'll tell y'all that. And I use the shade um 37. Golden beige. I hate my baby hair. It's getting in the way of everything. We're going to put concealer. I'm going to put my all-time favorite. At the moment, it's the elf camo. We already know. And I like to let it sit on my under my eyes. But I like to do the nose quickly. Because I don't want that stain my nose. I like to bring it up. So we're going to let that sit. Let me clean my lips because I hate foundation on my lips. We're gonna kind of cream bronze. Just a little bit so we can bring back some life into our face. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna use this good um the makeup shot. T22 brush. This is really good for cream contour. So you just want to pat and kind of flick up because you don't want to flick down or rub it. it. Ain't gonna look nice, boo. Okay, so we're gonna blend it out. So we look a little bronze. And now we're gonna use some powder. So I'm gonna use a light medium for under my eye. I love using this and I like to use it with my Real Techniques powder um, sponge. I like to use it dry because I feel like it gets more of the product. So I'm going to dip it in. And then I'm gonna... Well now to, for the rest of my face, I'm going to use this Fit Me Set Smooth 240 Golden Beige um, just press powder. I mean, press powder will do. Um, this is my go-to one at the moment. And I'm going to use Peaches and Cream Peace PC04. I just like to go in and 
get around the face. Let me one take out the extra of the powder from under her eyes and it leaves a really smooth finish. Finish I mean. So this gives you not a full matte colored face but at least satin and have still a natural finish glow even though it's not like all full powder on the face. Okay and so for bronzer this is a Rimmel one and I'm gonna use my Morphe M405 eye brush this little angle brush and just want to pat all over where you cream contour and then don't forget your chin because this is where you want to look really snatched when you're not really snatched. This helps a girl out. And then for the nose, I just like to use an eyeshadow brush from Real Technique. This is a base eyeshadow brush. So it just looks like that. Just a little brush. Just like tap, tap, tap. Go around the nose. And this is a waterproof bronzing powder and it's a natural bronzer. And this is really good. This is in the shade Sunlight. Now I'm going to cut my cheeks with the light medium because I want a little lightness under my cheeks. So I'm going to get back with my powder brushes for under my eyes and I'm going to lightly bake under. So you want to go um, bring it down. For blush, I'm going to use my all-time favorite. I'm going to tell y'all I need a new blush. Y'all can put me on a new blush y'all like. The Wet n Wild Mellow Wine. And it's such a beautiful color. Love it. So okay, now I'm going to take off the base. And this gives you full coverage. So for blush, we're going to use a line only a little bit and then just pack it on the cheek these lights are killing me right now and then we'll go right back into the eyes and finish up the bottom lashes so we're gonna go back in with the neon palette and i'm gonna go in with the orange i'm gonna use the spectrum palette and i'm gonna use beat fire orange right here Okay guys, so power went out and I'm using something to bring back my ring light. So girls gonna do what she gotta do. So I did this look. A Profusion Cosmetics Bright Light UV Aligner. And this was $4.98 or $3.98 and I got it from Walmart. It's like that. And I finished my under eyes with the beat. So I put the orange as I was showing y'all. Put some highlighter on and I'm gonna use my Anastasia Amrezi is mascara. I got this new Falsies Lash Lip. And we're going to open up and it gives you dramatic. It gives you dramatic lashes and it gives you length. So I got very black. And I have black black. But it's okay. And it's regular, not waterproof. And that's what the bristles look like. Super cute. They make your lashes look like set our brows in place i'm gonna use the essence good shiz um our face looks somewhat wild and guys i just bought myself a fatty bean mini fan and i can't wait for that comes in so i can use that instead of this so this better really, like locks in place and these liners though give me one if y'all can't see right now because i'm far away but they're vibrant i have orange pink and blue I used the orange ones today, and I used the blue one in the look I showed y'all a while ago. My Dollar Tree lashes, all wispy long crisscross. These are my go-to ones because they look like this. No, not the Salon Perfect um, 313s. They're like the exact dupes, so I just rather really use these and we'll spend four dollars on one pair or i think two but i can get three for three dollars i'm gonna let those dry i'm gonna put a little bit of my aqua pour because this stuff is bomb so it's been dry recently so i need this lashes on gorgeous so for a lip liner mac court nyx sweet and dainty days beautiful nude so we're gonna put this on Cute like that lip combo though. To top it off, I have these two glosses. They're new. This is the Maybelline Lifter Gloss that has hyaluronic acid. And I have this shade Stone and Amber. But I think I'm gonna go with Amber because it's more um nudie. Uh, yes. And let's go with the lips. Let's go with the eye lips. So this is the finished product very glamorous review on 
Okay, to review the Morphe Amazing 5 Bucks, y'all should go get this. Really bomb. I like it a lot. This is a great palette to start off with colors. If you want to start off with colors, really good look. And this is the look I came up with. It's simple. And my liners are really good. They might crack a little bit, but it does get the job done. These are cute like for like Instagram pictures and you want some liners. Two times, it won't really crack. This is the first time I did it because I put like a very thin layer, but these colors are amazing. I haven't tried out the pink one yet, but the blue and the orange are like amazing. It pops out an eye look. Whatever eye look you do, it just enhances it. More creativity. And it's so fun. Foundation. I'd say it's pretty good at hot, so I'm like sweating. I'm a little oily on my nose. Skin finish, so it's supposed to be a very light coverage, but it gave me a full coverage when I did two drops. Out of my face, and it looks pretty good. Yeah, so far I like it. It gave me long bottom lashes and my top, which y'all couldn't really see. Combos are very bomb. The amber was pretty glossy. The next thing to days beautiful so if you want to get this lip combo matte cork lip liner with the nyx suede dainty days and amber gloss and this is the coffee collection and this is what it gives you for my video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment share and subscribe don't forget to turn on your bell notification to be notified every time i post a new video after that i hope you guys enjoy your commission so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye